Hey guys, and um, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, I've uh, been moving in with Shell, everything's kind of sorted now, uh, and that's done. So now we live together, so hopefully she'll be in more videos too. Um, I just wanted to jump on and do a quick review of the Banana Prosthetics Binder, because I've had it a while, I've tried it out, and I just wanted to give you guys an honest opinion from my experience with it. So, yeah. I'll show you what it looks like, I'll explain a bit, and then if you have any questions, just drop them down below. And then we'll be back with some more videos really soon. I just wanted to put out some content, show you guys that I'm still here, and uh, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please either follow the group if you're watching on Facebook, follow my Instagram if you're watching on Instagram, and if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and share my channel, because it really helps. But uh, with that being said, we're going to get into the video and uh, I'm going to show you what the binder looks like. So, uh, it comes in one shade, which is black. It looks like this. And basically, it's a half binder. Um, I hope you can see it. It's a half binder. Um, it has inside, I'll turn it inside out. Inside, it has the um compression panel which i like um obviously um they're called melon squeeze that's the brand name that banana banana prosthetics went for i'm gonna tag them down below anyway but you have the um the compression sheet it's made from like swimming pool costume kind of material um so i would imagine you'd be fine um going swimming in it it's got the little logo uh, melon squeeze um but yeah it's a really good binder it's uh quite a thick binder but the material underneath is like sportswear kind of material like i said um i went for an extra extra large because normally i go for an extra large just for comfort i am only a large but i go for an extra large just for comfort but but because i was ordering from canada I went for an extra extra large. It fits fine, um, but I would definitely recommend you measure um, and possibly size up. Um, to measure, you can go on their website and they have instructions on how to do that, how to measure your chest and stuff like that. But it is something I recommend because never bind down in size because um, that can be really bad. Um, always go one up if you're not sure if you're in between sizes say you're normally between a small to a medium and you're in between always go for the medium never go for the small that is definitely something that should be done uh, never wear your binder for more than eight hours and always take it off if you're having breathing difficulties um, or if you're just struggling in general and you've got a cold or something like that then um, I would recommend binding for a shorter period or not binding at all and also remember to drink plenty and stay hydrated when you're binding because you sweat a lot and that means you're losing fluid so make sure you stay hydrated and and my opinion on the binder itself is actually it's a really good binder it's really good quality for the money and it arrived really quickly like I never have a problem with banana prosthetics delivery but if you do then you can always contact them there sometimes can be a long wait sometimes language barrier because of where they're based I'm based in England Wales so I would definitely recommend like maybe paying for tracking if you live in a country that's like far away because that helps because then you can see where it is. If you order it without tracking, then um, there can be a problem with them helping you sometimes. But I've never had a problem, and I order from the UK. So, yeah, I, it's definitely worth it. I really like it. The quality is amazing. Um, if you use, if you do want to order, and you place an order, and you use code TONY10, you will get 10% off. So that's always a bonus for you guys. Um, as, you know, money off in these times is really, really helpful. I would definitely recommend this binder. It's really comfortable. I've not had any problems. Like, some binders can really 
compress like I know that's the idea but some really really compress and it's hard to breathe even if you size up but I've not had a problem with this I like wearing it it makes me look flat if you are interested I can put it on and post some photos I don't know if you guys would want to see that it's does make me a little bit uncomfortable but for the channel I'm happy to do it but it'll be over on my Instagram or my Facebook page which is just totally reviews same as my YouTube so um, if you are interested head over to that and let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to you with posting some videos this is a really short video but I will be back with some funny videos let me know what you guys want to see because I think it's important that interacting with my viewers and getting them to give me ideas on what they want to see will help boost the channel as well so yeah remember to share like and subscribe like my pages just do whatever you can to help out the channel because i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoy this video like i said i'll be back really soon i will do a more in-depth review i just wanted to jump on show you what it looked like give you a little bit of an idea some binder information and stuff like that so anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll be back with you really soon with some more content